Now to health news. Global cancer deaths among men are projected to surge in the next two decades. Researchers from Australia analyzed cases and deaths of 30 types of cancer in 185 countries and territories in 2022 to make projections for 2050. Deaths are projected to rise from 5.4 million to 10.5 million during that same time period. That's a 93% increase. President Joe Biden is awarding $150 million today to eight programs who are innovating in cancer research. It's part of Biden's Cancer Moonshot Pledge to cut cancer deaths in half by 2047. Christiane Cordero is back and has the latest details from Washington. Today, President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden are awarding eight programs as part of the administration's cancer moonshot. This is an issue both the president and the First Lady care about deeply, uh, um, obviously for, for important personal reasons to them. The $150 million in awards comes from the Advanced Research Projects Agency for Health, which Congress established under the Department of Health and Human Services. For years, Biden has touted the cancer moonshot with the goal of cutting the cancer death rate in half by 2047. And I will keep fighting my, for my cancer moonshot so we can end cancer as we know it because we can do it. The eight programs awarded are developing new technologies to help surgeons remove tumors in people with cancer. It comes as a new study by the American Cancer Society projects an alarming rise in cancer diagnoses and deaths among men expected to nearly double by 2050. We'll pick some common cancers that are the leading causes of cancer for among men. For example, colorectal cancer. Mm. At the age of 45, you should start having these discussions. At the age of 50, prostate cancer is another big one. You should start having discussions about prostate cancer screening. They can be different from person to person. Biden lost his son, Beau, to brain cancer in 2015. He first launched the Cancer Moonshot Initiative as vice president. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.